welcome back. Now we're going to take a look at our snowy weather. So get your hat, get your hot cocoa, get your jackets because it's going to be cold. Snowy. Can you say snowy? Great job. Do you like the snowy weather? I sometimes like the snowy weather. I don't like to be out in it too long, but long enough to build a snowman. Let's read about playing in the snow. It is snowy. Let's practice that sentence. That's a good one. It is snowy. Everything is covered with snow. Look at the trees, the branches all have snow on them. Hmm. Have you ever been in a snowstorm? Everything is covered? It could be really crazy, huh? Boys and girls go out of the house to play in the snow. Yes, I like to do that too. It looks like they're throwing some snow at one another and they have on their jackets and their boots and their scarves and their earmuffs. They're ready to play. Let's read that again. Boys and girls go out of the house to play in the snow. Great job. They wear mittens and sweaters. So here's their little mitts, right? Their little mitts that are also mittens on their hands. And they wear sweaters to keep them nice and warm. Let's read those sentences one more time. They wear mitts and sweaters. I'm hearing. What do you like to wear in the snow? Yeah, I like scarves and hats to keep my face and my head warm. Ooh, looks like they're building some snowballs. They can throw snowballs. Everybody pick up their snow, pick it up, and show me how you throw it. Ready? One, two, three, throw! <laughs> A virtual snowball fight. They can throw snowballs. Can you read that? They can throw snowballs. Great job. Ooh, what is this? This little guy. He is a snowman. I love making snowmen. That's like my favorite thing to do in the winter time. Let's read this. They can make a snowman. Can you try that? Great job. They're doing a lot of things in the snow. Ooh, how do they look? They look pretty happy, which means they're pretty excited. They are excited on a snowy day. Let's read that sentence. They are excited on a snowy day. I get excited too, it's a lot of fun. Another type of weather, which can sometimes be scary, is windy. Can you say windy? Let me hear. Whoa! You did a good job with windy. I almost blew away. Windy. Let's read a story about what happens when it's too windy. It's too windy. That's what my hair would look like. If I went out in the wind, wouldn't that be crazy? Okay. It's too windy. Can you read that? Great job. Hmm. Sometimes we don't want to go outside when it's windy because our hair blows around, all of our clothes blow around, and it's kind of just hard to navigate and to see and to do things in the wind. I don't want to go out 
outside. Can you read that? Great job. Now one little thing. I see this little mark here. That is an exclamation point. And an exclamation point means I'm either really excited, really angry, or just really want to tell you something. And it has to be right now. So I need to make my voice really animated for this sentence. I don't want to go outside. Can you try that? Great job. Oh, the wind is pulling my hair. Oh my goodness, look at her hair. It's blowing in the wind. Let's read that sentence. The wind is pulling my hair. Good job. Have you ever had that happen to you? Yeah, it could be a little crazy. Oh, now the wind is pulling something else. What is she wearing on her, on her upper body? That's right, she's wearing a coat. The wind is pulling my coat. Great job. Uh-oh, another piece of clothing you wear around your neck. Do you know what that's called? A scarf. What do you think this sentence is going to say? Who can guess? You're right. The wind is pulling my scarf. Oh no, my hair, my scarf, my coat. I would be a little angry at the wind, huh? I am angry. Can you practice that sentence? Great job. When will the wind stop? Oh, when will the wind stop? And with just like our exclamation point, this here is a question mark. So I'm asking a question, when will it stop? What's the weather today? Let's practice these sentences. Are you ready? Great. It is sunny. You've got it. Let's read that together. It is sunny. Great job. Rainy. That's right. What's our sentence going to say? It is rainy. It is rainy. Can you try? Great! Let the rain when it's cold. Snowy. Good. It is snowy. Nice reading. Windy. It is windy. Very good. Nice job. Excellent. Let's name the weather in the picture. Sunny. Can you say sunny? Excellent. I love the sunny days. They're so nice. What's this one? See all these little white things in the, in the sky? What are they? They're the clouds for a cloudy day. Can you say cloudy? Great job. Ooh, it's got wet, wet, wet water coming from the sky. Rainy. Can you say that? Great job. Excellent. And it's really cold and really white. It must be snowy. That's right. 
What's that one? Yes, it's windy. Can you say windy? Great job. I can wear t-shirts on a sunny day. Let's practice that sentence. I can wear t-shirts on a sunny day. I really enjoy sunny days, don't you? Hmm, what would we wear on a rainy day to protect our feet? Yeah, we would wear some boots probably. I can wear boots on a rainy day. Hmm, what can we wear on the, in the snow? In the snow to keep our hands nice and dry and warm. Mitts, good. I can wear mitts on a snowy day. I can wear mitts on a snowy day. Great job. Oh, I can wear coats on a windy day. Yes, and sometimes you might need more than one coat. That's why it says coats here, because you might need a lighter coat and then a heavier coat on top because it's so cold. I can wear coats on a windy day. Great job. Excellent. Friends, you did so well today. I am so proud of you. We learned about the different types of weather and what to wear in that really hard weather. Great job. I will see you next time. Thanks for coming today. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.